Listen, so I was informed under a court of law that the way I treated Santa Claus in the first episode was deplorable. And now I have to do community service. Why, I honestly don't know. I did the job to completion, and he survived. Boxers go to work and get concussions all the time. But when Santa Claus gets one, all of a sudden I'm the bad guy. Anyway, so I have to take care of Pajama Penguin, okay? And if even one scratch is upon his beak, I'm sentenced to 24 years in prison. Santa prison. I don't really know what that means. I think I'm going to be an indentured servant, or as they call it in the South, an elf. It's January 15th, by the way. Why did I decide it would be a good idea to do an entire elongated joke about Christmas on a fucking SCP video? Well, you gotta reap what you sow, am I right, guys? And as much as I don't like this scenario, <laughs> them some freaking good slippers. <laughs> Wowee! You know, PJ Penguin, I like you more than Santa Claus, because... You don't judge me by your stupid standards. You're okay in my book, my friend. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Rye Reacts. Today, folks, we're checking out another episode of Confinement, and that episode is episode three, The Robot. What robot? This robot. I don't like the looks of this robot. He's not Austrian, and he's not muscular. Why don't you do what you did with the other ones and guess? What's this SCP going to be about? Well, the cannibal had nothing to do with the cannibal. And the same thing, it just sang a copyrighted song. So I didn't hear it ever. It didn't exist. It, it wasn't exist. So this robot obviously has to be 110% a sex robot. Sex robot, sex robot. Sex robot, sex robot. Of course, folks, like check out the original link more for original content creator. Link be in the description. Oh, oh, that's, oh, shit, I became the blind child. <laughs> but I feel you. I play a lot of Silent Hill and I know the exact feeling. I stole one of the symbols from Naruto and all the Silent Hill monsters tried to eat me alive. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry that the Naruto spoilers had to happen. That's what happens to Sasuke at the end. He tries to use his big eye thing. Shit. Steps must make the break um. <sighs> hold on. Hold on. What? Wait, what? Hold on. Beep. I don't, I don't even know if this came up on my, uh, video or recording or if that was just a glitch on my computer but uh he summoned a green screen to look at his papers what's that what do you got there bud what's that in your green screen i'm the wrestling king but now it's written where it took a break from the ring because i want you sorry guys he got banned off everything so he's just paying me uh, a small loan of a million dollars to show up on my videos and do a dance I didn't even take the money. I just accepted the deal. Why are you so mad, man? Come on. You go in there and try to frickin' rustle tussle. It was in a mirror? Yes, you've done it. My favorite clipboard. He found you, girl. He found you. Sorry about all the trouble, Connor. Assets upstairs told me that sending a task force into 093 to retrieve a lowly doctor's clipboard was a waste of time and resources. But bureaucrats, what do they know about hard work? What do I look like to you? Some stuck-up bureaucratic asswipe sipping champagne from my ivory tower? It was just a clipboard, man. Get off your fucking high horse. It's coffee, bud, not more champagne. Like water. Oh. Well, I only have champagne, but you can't have any. You've got another <laughs> test in ten minutes. And you can't have my ivory tower. Well, Took a long time to put that to together, bud. Mr. Pierce at the robotics center. Sorry, kid. I don't make the rules. Fucking bureaucrats do. Better get a move on. <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> Oh my god. That's the funniest looking thing I've ever seen after saying the sex joke at the beginning. 
One, his clown shoes are the best thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't know why his little tiny shoes make me laugh. Two, he actually looks like a baby version of Sex Robot. Sex Robot, coming to your town. Three, there's a muffin missing? Where the hell is the muffin man? Four, no, you shouldn't print this. It's always a butt. It's never anything else. There's no way that it is not a butt. Five, please, please. I know the robot from the title card. I don't care. Please let this be the robot the title's talking about. I don't care. I just want him. And I want his little chest to open up and ding. Oven pizzas? I love you. <laughs> and then I embrace the little robot with my, my pal and maybe gay lover in this story. Fish man with top hat comes in and we all hug together. <laughs> that a boy robot. That a boy. Oh man, I almost spilled my my champagne everywhere. Mm. Coffee, I mean. Ah, hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm Mr. Pierce from the Department of Internal Negotiations Guild and Unanimous Settlements. Or Dingus for short. Follow me, Mr. Cotter. There's not a moment to wait. Never follow a man where he has rectangle pants, bud. Hey, fellas, I'm back. This is Mr. Cotter, the gentleman with regenerative immortality. Oh, shit! The one that I've seen this SCP. Those are what are called no gamers. Way. Dude, no way. Yeah, way. SCP-420. what do you know about the Anderson Robotics Company? <laughs> They're probably blacklisted from the Internet Cafe, so not much. <laughs> Well, it's a very secretive organization that builds machines with anomalous and unusual properties. They have support for very powerful people in laboratories all over the U.S., China, and that uh, country next to Sweden. Dude, no way. I That's hate that Pringle can. There's a fellow in there from the company that refuses It looks to like a tentacle us, monster, and that's his butt cheeks, and he's just like... Present. Weird, I, know. I can't unsee it! My guess is that he wants to bargain ah. one way or another. That's why I'm here. So whatever Just you do, stop the don't say Pringle work. monster, okay? Open the door, fellas. All right. How are you feeling today, 1360? I am well. I presume you wish to discuss the bargain. If you feel like it. Confirmed. I desire to obtain the likeness and abilities of this individual, Mr. Connor. A perfect organism with remarkable durability and physique. Well, thank you. Personally, I'd make improvements to hygiene standards, but that's just me. <laughs> Jumps across the table. <laughs> that's the thing that snaps him. He just snaps. He just strangled a robot. Not even bullets stopped him. He kept on strangling after he died. I've never seen a man possessed with such rage. I think he pressed his nipple button like seven times, hoping it would self-destruct him. In return, I can give you six terabytes of priceless information from the Anderson Robotics Company, including hey. their schematics, partnerships, and future plans. I see. Hmm. Now, hypothetically, Pornhub if went down. Where do I go to now? Essentially, become a pattern <laughs> 2.0. There's a bit of robot slang for you. You would still be classified as SCP and kept here against your will. Do you understand that? Absolutely. I am counting on it. I simply wish to experience the sensation of life without the burden of death. But with a sideways mouth. I am reduced to a sliver of meaningless tasks and trials, haunted with sudden and daily intervals of endless darkness. Oh, bud. Goddard, what are your thoughts? I, um, I wasn't paying attention. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bad news, by the way, robot. Those meaningless tasks you've been talking about? Christ. He doesn't even know. That's exactly what we do. <laughs> ah, what a loser. Give that guy Fortnite and his brain's going to blow up. He's like, this is so meaningless and pointless. Why do I do such terrible dances? Pans to him hanging himself. <laughs> and he can't. It's not uh, cracked up to be. What do you want? What do you want that we have? Love? You want love? I'll hug you. I'll give you the tightest squeeze you ever dang seen. And you see, what you feel that nothingness? Good. Now you feel like how I feel every single morning. It's called depression. Welcome to the real world, robot. And I don't even have a sideways mouth. I'm jealous and I'm angry. Ah! Okay, 1360, 
That's a mighty fine offer, but I do see one or two problems with it. Elaborate. God. We have no idea how to extract Connor's anomalous ability from his body to put into a surrogate body for you. We can, however, give you a normal human surrogate. We've got loads of corpses here. It's hey. true. I think you misunderstand. That's me. I desire to be able to inhabit Connor's current body and have complete access to his brain and nervous system while his consciousness remains suppressed. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> well, now you see, that complicates things a bit. It's because How our so? heads are shaped How in the same so? way. Connor is valuable to the Foundation. That's right! <laughs> oh! Oh, he shot me! Oh, Connor, why? You knew the gun was on the desk. Why'd you do that? Ah! Oh. Guys, it's a joke. It's a joke. I'm perfectly fine. I didn't get shot at all. That's why I'm classed as a A tier YouTuber. That's a quality. Ch I'm never going to be popular. We happen to know that when an Anderson Robotics product is sold, it has its memory completely wiped. Thought you could outsmart the biggest dingus in the room? So what top secret information could you possibly have given I should have named that my YouTube channel. You Can you outsmart the biggest honest, dingus in the room? Just he is. I anticipated the memory wipe, which is why I saved it on an external drive. Perhaps this will change your mind. Sorry, buddy, I'm not for sale. Connor, Connor, let me do the talking. I'll take a look at this to make sure it's legitimate. Mr. Pierce, no, 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 don't eat it. Oh, no, sorry, no, sorry, Connor. sorry. Just Connor. taking a gander. Won't be two seconds. <laughs> well, this is awkward. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm still a sentient piece of meat. Can you guys just put the glasses on here? Uh, I can't see very well. It's it's quite quite a rough existence here. Uh, I mean, I'm still alive, but I, you know, everything's really blurry. Curse those cataracts of mine, you know? That was a real unlucky hand for me. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. What the hell happened there? <laughs> I've seen a lot of bombs go off in my day. Kapooey! But none of them have turned people into a human wall. I imagine that was an SCP or something he can do. Or it was an art choice. It was one of the things, but it was also one of the grossest things I've ever seen. And I saw a man explode into a forest. The gross part was how bad the music was copyrighted. It still makes me sick. You're never going to leave this laboratory, Connor. I am offering the only escape you could ever hope to achieve. Do no way. <laughs> oh man. Stop. Touch, stop moving. <laughs> oh! oh! Not his spaghetti! I don't understand. Oh, get him! Yeah! No, 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 Oh, yeah! Mr. Connor. <laughs> oh, my bagel bites! Zero, three, one. The prodigal son. Mr. Anderson. This is not where you belong. You cannot hide from us here, or there, or anywhere. I will give you one last chance to surrender and return to the laboratory. Oh, his weakness was ASMR. Who would have thunk it? Uh, that's a shame. Whoa! Also, Prodigal Son, was that Robot Jesus? Dear Connor, Ever since the Foundation uploaded me into a personal computer, I've finally had the opportunity to explore the memories Anderson suppressed. My name in life was Ian, and I suppose still is. I can now convert some of my human memories into audio files to listen to, and each one generates even more memories. I would again like to apologize for trying to kill you that one time. Yours truly, Ian. Dear Ian, that name suits you. Glad you're discovering more about yourself than before. Maybe one day they can find out who you were and slide you back into your old life. 
Unless it sucked, then you can just chill here with it. And about the whole murdering thing, it's cool. It happens a lot. <laughs> Being in prison does suck, but you certainly get to meet some interesting people here. Yours truly, Connor. Is interesting spelt with an E or an A? Dude, no way. <laughs> <laughs> he just shoots the shit out of him afterwards. Uh, that's a real grammar Nazi, by the way. So the real question is, who is Mr. Anderson? Who is this really shady guy who's freaking censoring this guy's memories? And then he finds out he's a, like, a, someone's conscious downloaded? What? What a cool ending. What a cool twist. What a neat freaking SCP. As it always is. It seems like they up their game each time. It's like the cannibal was interesting, but, you know, he was just, I'm big guy who <laughs> speaks nice but kills people. As cool as that is, it's not as interesting as the actual human stuck, like his, his conscience stuck in a computer or a, a forest that comes from singing. That was amazing, yet not even close to Clown Shoes Robot. You wish you could have been that robot! <laughs> That's why we had to kill you. I'm Mr. Anderson. Hobo Ryan Anderson. I had to do it, folks. If he kept on going, thinking he was the prodigal son, the world would be filled with lies and deceit. Because Clown Shoes Robot was the prodigal son. He was to come down to the world and with each step would save thousands of souls. I can hear it now as I close my eyes. <laughs> These keep getting better and better. Time out. We actually have some answers. Mr. Anderson is the guy who is the head of the Anderson Robotic Hub. He makes $700 million annually. Fuck. <laughs> I'm in the wrong job. I wish I was a fictitious character being able to talk to robots. I could have done that. SCP, hook me up. FBI, you're watching this. I know you watch everything. Listen, hook me up. I can, I can go on the phone. Hello, uh, Freddy Fazbear. I got a pizza with your name on it right over here. If you just come, uh, come hang out with your boy. Boom, 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 boom. Steps in a bear trap. Fucking idiot. <laughs> and of course he used a bear trap. He's a bear. Then I beat him with a bat and I fixed the problem. No more problem. No more bad robot. So Anderson Robotics is a paratech firm specializes in sales of anonymous robots, androids, and artificial intelligence, computer programs, and cybernetics. I really love this. There's even a logo for this guy. I love how there's like miniature like storylines about these characters. Oh, that's so cool. I really love how that's a thing. Also, I'm surprised we haven't heard from his roommates yet. They're just kind of characters that exist. And that ending was so sweet. Like that acceptance moment, which I sure as heck didn't expect. I thought he was just going to be a nameless, faceless abomination that he had to conquer and beat. So two thumbs up for me. I really enjoyed that episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoy, remember to subscribe, leave a like down below, and write a comment about the episode. So far, what is your favorite SCP? This one, really, really cool. Oh, I can confirm that the little flash drive was an SCP. I found out that the uh, the three SCPs were Robot, Mirror, and uh, the flash drive. So, there you go. That's why he turned into a wall. I didn't read any of it because I've realized that uh, I have so much text, and by the time I finish, I will officially be an hour in so instead i'm just gonna go and if you want to check it out the scps are 93 1360 and 2306 i don't know why i didn't say 2306 sometimes my brain don't work thanks for watching everybody i'll see you in the next one Bye bye